Yo, what's up? Nico which is here. Um, today I'm just going to be reacting to some of my old videos, which it's actually just one video, so yeah, let's get to it. So if you guys don't know, the YouTuber EDP445 is in deep trouble right now. And this dude's gonna go to jail. I, I, it's official. Oh my god, so just a reminder. When I made this video, I wasn't even thinking straight. All I did was, when I found out that all of this happened, all I did was just watch one video about what happened in general. And then all I did was grab my phone, recorded three matches of COD Mobile, uh, went to Kind Master, slapped on some background commentary music, and um, I just thought it would be a really good idea. But I was thinking I was the best commentator on it. And you know, I mean, it's actually okay for a mobile commentator, but it's probably not the best since I'm using the built in mic and it's kind of hard to like speak loud though. Because I'm always used to talking quiet, but yeah, let's just get to the video again. His account, his, his account is over, his, his days are over. I mean, it's honestly hard to ignore the fact that this is true because honestly, I thought these would be false accusations, but there was enough proof to show that EDP, in fact, like, is a pedophile himself. He's been texting underage girls, and you know, I, I don't have much to say about him. You know, he's going to jail, and you know, he used to be one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Like, I don't know how to see him now, you know? I just want to see him the right way, you know? I mean, I feel like this happens to a lot of famous YouTubers, but honestly, you know, at this point, you know? Okay, so, I know this happens to, I mean, it doesn't happen to a lot of famous YouTubers, but if it does happen to another famous YouTuber again, my money is on Dream. Okay, I bet it happens to Dream. I got I was on pause the video. I mean, I don't know what to think about it. I gotta say, but I guess the Eagles fan himself, EDP 445, is going to jail. His career is over. The last time he posted was actually six days ago, so, you know, there's. So he hasn't responded to the whole pedophile situation yet, but there is enough proof, and I'm gonna show you the evidence that he has been texting on his and that he is a pedophile. Okay, here's the proof. Alright, if you. Oh my god, bro. Look at this man, dude. Bro, what? Gave him the idea to just, <laughs> I'm just... but look at him, bro. like, <laughs> dude. I, do, I can't, no, dude. Like, if you remove his body and the background, he just looks like an egg with a face. Just a, a dark egg with a face. <laughs> I just, I can just see it right now. <laughs> You do not know what it says. It says, kiss your daddy goodnight. Long sleep type thing. Honestly, this dude looks like a fucking nightmare, man. And, uh, I mean, honestly, what the fuck, man? Also, if you're wondering how they caught EDP, so a few people created fake accounts, and they were disguised as underage girls, and they started texting EDP, and EDP started responding to sexual responses, and yeah, that's the whole proof right there. I mean, he made, an, he made like an apology video, well not really an apology video, he was just talking about the whole situation himself, and honestly, like, I don't know how to see him now, and I feel like we do, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated about the whole, like, situation I was going to Actually, I know what happened after, and I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not trying to make this like a part two of the video, but after he got caught, he got evicted from his house, and, and then he moved to Nevada, was working for Lyft, got fired from Lyft, once um, the company found out what he did, got fired from his apartment in Nevada, and uh, he tried applying for a job at Chuck E. Cheese, like, kind of recently, was like, December of 2021, or maybe it was this year, I think, but uh, oh, also I forgot, he also tried making a website to called edp445.com but I guess that project was scrapped but I don't know what he would post on there just him ranting about the Eagles or what but anyways 
too good for y'all or not. Alright, to be honest, EDP has a lot of explainer to do. I mean, EDP, if you're watching this, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Okay, I don't know why I thought EDP would watch this, but... Because at this time, my YouTube channel had, like, 40-something subs. Like, 48 subscribers, I think. Yeah, like, maybe 48, 50, something, I think. Somewhere around there. So, I don't know why he would find this. And also, like, half of the subscribers on my YouTube channel at the time were, like, friends and family. And two of them were just females that I made. So, yeah. That's a new fact about my YouTube channel. Well, guys, looks like we gotta say goodbye to EDP445 because he is going to prison for years. Now okay, that's like... What's that point? I don't know, the billionth time I've said that already. Why, why would I just shut up about that? Uh, honestly, I feel like EDP was trying to get caught too because EDP really should have known that these underage girls would have reported him for his to these underage girls. And, you know, honestly, if I was an underage girl and EDP was sexing me this shit, I would have reported him, you know? But, sadly, I wish this was a nightmare, but this is the harsh truth, you know? Anyway. If you enjoyed watching this video, then leave a like and subscribe. Okay, see ya. You know, this video deserves more views. That's all I'm saying. Like, if my YouTube channel was big at the time, this probably would have been a really good video, like a short video explaining what EDP did. And also, if I wasn't using the built-in mic on my phone, then yeah, that would definitely be great too, but... Yeah, that'll be it for uh, today's video. If you enjoyed watching this, leave a like and subscribe. Okay, see ya.